Good afternoon. This is Rich Ness, and I am here for this week's installment of Five Minutes With. This week, I will be speaking with Jeff Waters, who was recently named the president and CEO of Isola. Afternoon, Jeff. How are you? Hey, good afternoon to you, Rich. I'm doing well. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Actually, it's probably morning for you, but that's another story. It is. Okay, so let's get right into this. Uh, Isola's competitive advantage is somewhat esoteric when you're talking to people who are outside our industry. Actually, it might even be esoteric when talking to people inside the industry. So what is your elevator pitch? What does Isola do? So if you think about, about Isola, we, we sell copper-clad laminates and prepregs into the printed circuit board industry. And if you think about printed circuit boards, they're increasingly becoming an important part of an electrical product design uh, just because of some of the temperature constraints and some of the performance constraints that are now being put in and in- increasingly made harder in uh, electronic equipment going forward. So given that, uh, so much of system requirements start with the original equipment manufacturer. So take like a Cisco as an example. They're designing kind of their latest and greatest boxes and switches and routers, and they come up with a set of requirements they need both from a noise perspective or from a temperature perspective, and that then gets translated into laminate requirements to help them meet their needs on the PCB side, which then makes its way into the PCB fabricators. So if you think about that sequence of, of kind of value and, and how that product gets defined, it's very important, and one of the, the real assets that ISOLA has is the presence that we have within North America, within Europe, and also within China and within Taiwan. So we have the ability to engage on the very front end and collaborate and innovate with the OEMs as they're defining their next products and the visions for their strategies from a hardware perspective. We're able to develop our materials. We're able to work with their local PCB manufacturers as they ramp those up locally. And then as they start to hit higher volume production, we have the facilities and the capabilities to transfer our processes over to China, over to Taiwan, hit that lower cost manufacturing base, and stay there with them as they ramp that into higher and lower cost and more cost sensitive production. So when you get those checks from your customers, are they – are they usually reasonable, or are they asking for things that are just, like, not really possible? From a cost perspective? No, from a can-you-do-this perspective. Well, we like it when they're pushing the brinks of, of being unreasonable, because uh, that's where it kind of forces us to, us to get more innovative, and it, it really taps in also to the, the decades and, and hundreds of years of experience that we have as a company in developing this type of technology. So the harder they get, the more demanding they get, the more unreasonable they get, the more it fits into our wheelhouse and really separates us from, uh, from some of our competition. Okay, that's fair. Not the answer I was expecting, but that's definitely fair. Okay, so you talked about the vast experience of the company, but uh, you're actually very new to your position. Um, what do you see in terms of changes going forward? Yeah, so I, I come to uh, Isola from uh, after having about two or three decades in the semiconductor industry, and there are actually a lot of parallels uh, between the semiconductor world and uh, the PCB laminate world. You know, we call on a lot of the same customers, we follow a lot of the same uh, markets and and uh, and growth and and dynamics that we see in those markets. A lot of similarities. You know, when I look at, at us as a company. Uh, you know, one of the things I, I, I look at first probably are where we expect to see good vertical market growth. And, you know, in this day and age, uh, automotive and especially things around driver assistance and autonomous vehicles is a critical growth area for us. Uh, if you take a look also in the data center. So the explosion of servers and, and, uh, and not just your traditional servers, but even customized servers from companies like Facebook and Microsoft and Google – that is all bringing with it a whole slew of additional need for innovation, um, higher speed, lower noise, uh, higher thermal requirements, higher reliability. And that just uh, speaks to all the opportunity that a company like Isola has. Once again, you know, booming emerging markets and us having the R&D centers, having the manufacturing centers that are where these markets are, are evolving and where they're really redefining themselves. 
Um, you know, we have, for example, we have an R&D and, and manufacturing center in Germany. That's right in the heart of where a lot of the automotive innovation is going on. We have R&D and manufacturing facilities here in the U.S. That's where a lot of the kind of the heart of the new data center is evolving. And you're going to see us as a company serve those markets better, um, get on that front end, but also, as I said before, carry it all the way through into volume production. Yeah, it sounds kind of funny you're talking about people like Facebook who are um – providing innovation. I'm, I mean, I guess it's not funny, but it's just a little strange to me to be hearing that. Yeah, you, if you haven't looked at it, you'd be amazed at, um, you know, companies like Google and Facebook and even Microsoft that we traditionally think of as software companies. Um, you know, I always just would have assumed before I got into it that, that their whole business was around the software and the advertising and that they didn't care much about hardware. But given the amount of hardware that they produce, uh, they have to care a lot about it, and they've become experts at it for a variety of reasons. And it's not just cost. It's not just hardware costs, electricity costs, but it's also uh, ecological concerns. You know, Google comes under a lot of pressure for putting up more data centers, which are consuming a lot of energy. They need to have better footprints than they've had historically, and, and that's really what's driving a lot of the innovation. And do folks like that understand your business? Um. Uh, Enough. I mean, they, they understand what they need in their hardware, and their engineers understand how that translates into their requirements for PCBs and how that translates into their requirements for, for copper-clad laminates. So, yeah, I would say indirectly they, they understand it well enough. Mm, that's really fascinating, and I'd like to get into that, but I'm afraid we've used up our five minutes. So that was right. five minutes with Jeff Waters, who is the President and CT CEO of Isola, and I'm Rich Nass, Executive Vice President of Open Systems Media. I thank you, Jeff. Have a great day. Thank you, Rich.